The way to remember the three more, the most important functions of glutathione is to remember the word aid. A I D. A stands for antioxidant. When we look at antioxidants, we're looking at a, a huge field, a huge number of different substances. If you were to go to the health food store or GNC, or even if you were to go to your pharmacy, you'd see a, a whole wall of products that would represent antioxidants. You're all familiar with vitamin C and vitamin E and, and selenium and all these other things. Now, although these may be natural products, most of them are not natural to your body. If you don't eat vitamin C, the body doesn't produce it. And you would think that given the essential rule of antioxidants in literally hundreds of disease processes, that your body would make its own antioxidant. And in fact, we do. And the antioxidant that we make in most abundance, the antioxidant that is busiest at work in your body, is glutathione. And that's probably the major um, activity uh, in our body. It's glutathione. Glutathione has been called the master antioxidant. Not only because it's the one that your body makes, but because, get this, none of the other antioxidants that you know of, and many that you don't know of, none of these other antioxidants can work were it not for the presence of glutathione. So that's A, glutathione, the master antioxidant. Now when we said A, it's A, I, the I stands for the immune system. The immune system is set up to protect your body from anything that's not supposed to be there. What we call a foreign antigen. A foreign antigen could be a virus, could be a bacteria, could be a parasite, it could even be a tumor cell. See, you're all developing potential tumor cells, you're all developing cancer every day. But it's your immune system that recognizes that these cells are abnormal and will get rid of them. People that have a compromised immune system, people that have a weak immune system, are much more prone to the development of cancer. Here is the key point. The limiting factor to both the multiplication of the white blood cells and their ability to fight off this viral threat is their ability to get glutathione. If they start running low on glutathione, they can no longer continue this warfare. So if you're all into hockey or football, I, I guess those are big sports around here, you know that you can't win without defense. And your defense, after all, is your immune system. And you're going to see more and more science focusing on good defense rather than the development of newer antibiotics and antivirals. And this is what raising glutathione is all about. Uh, that's an I, fuel for the immune system. And finally, D, detoxification, another hot topic. Uh, people come up to me uh, all the time, Dr. Gutman, uh, I want you to look at this product. It's supposed to cleanse your liver, it's supposed to cleanse your blood. What does this cleansing business mean anyways? I've got this vision of molecules going up against my <laughs> liver with scrub <laughs> brushes. <laughs> I have to understand on a biochemical and physiological basis what cleansing or what detoxification is. As my background as an emergency physician, mm -hmm. I knew a little bit about glutathione because we use in critical situations certain drugs to raise glutathione to save people's lives. For example, someone comes in with an acetaminophen overdose, it's Tylenol or Adisol. It's a, it can be a, a, an awful way to die. What happens essentially is between two to five days your liver falls apart. And if we can get our hands on somebody within 24, 48 hours of taking this overdose, what we do is we feed them or inject them with a drug that raises that person's glutathione levels. 
and by raising their glutathione levels, the people are able to detoxify themselves. So if you speak to an emergency doctor or a critical care doctor, and you say glutathione, they'll say, oh yeah, acetaminophen overdose. But what these doctors don't appreciate yet, and what the general public is just learning about now, is that glutathione is not only something that's going to get rid of certain drug overdoses, but it gets rid of so many things that you're exposed to every minute of every day. Glutathione will get rid of the breakdown products of cigarette smoke, of automobile exhaust, of heavy metals, pesticides or herbicides, uh, of, of a, a long list of carcinogens. These are cancer-causing agents that show up in the food that we eat, the water that we drink, and the air that we breathe out every day. So if you remember the aim, glutathione, the master antioxidant, glutathione fuel for the immune system, and de-glutathione, the most important detoxification enzyme system we have, then you'll appreciate what is driving the force behind 70,000 plus articles. And this is a number that uh, is almost doubling every year. When you understand the importance of glutathione in each and every single one of your cells, then you'll understand how much promise this has in the future. So thank you very much for your attention.